Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting East Coast Volkswagen, and I'm checking out a 2017 Volkswagen Passat in the 1.8 TR line trim level. Now this is a really comfortable and roomy vehicle, and this particular one is in a very unique and interesting color. I really, really like this color. So let's go ahead and check it out. This vehicle sitting on 235 40 R19 Continental tires wrapped around 19 inch alloy wheels painted silver and they're like a double spoke five star. This looks really classy uh, without looking gaudy or anything like this. It's a sporty classy look and it also has four wheel disc brakes with ventilated disc brakes in the front and solid disc brakes in the back. The name of this color is Urano Gray. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's a very, very interesting color. Never seen a color like this on a vehicle. Okay, so here in the front, the color is accented with chrome and black, a gloss black with a chrome horizontal design here. Has the R-line padging right in here. And the headlights are powered by halogen bulbs for your high and low beams, and they're in a reflector housings. This is what your key looks like, and it has the pretty traditional design that Volkswagen's used for a long time. And it has the lock and unlock buttons here, the ability to open up the trunk, and check it out. Switchblade key, isn't that cool? So you can have fun with it, even when you're not around your vehicle. The chrome accents really look nice. They're not overly done, but they're here around the windows and there at the side, side of the vehicle there. At the midpoint, I guess you can say, kind of mid, lower midpoint, not at the very bottom is what I'm getting at. Okay, here's the inside of the passenger door, and it has soft to the touch surfaces around your arm and even all the way up here. And it's all black except for this metallic accent around the handle the handles there it also has this textured metallic accent and then it has this like brushed uh, smooth kind of matte finished uh, accent here as well you have a large pocket that goes all the way back into the door there there's your threshold with the sill plate our line badging on it manually adjusted seats they do have a height adjustment as well so you have the leatherette surface material here on the seats and they are heated and you can see the perforations there in the center all one color including the stitching here's the floorboard and you can see the floor mats this one has the upgraded rubber floor mats with they hook in place so they don't slide around on you You see the dash has that same accents here with the uh, brushed and textured. You have a lockable glove compartment. And it's smooth plastic here on the inside. It also has this little uh, shelf here so you can put your manual or whatever up there at the top. There's two buttons in here. One is to reset the tire pressure system. The other one is to lock out the trunk to keep people from accessing the trunk, like valets and people like that. Here's the inside of the back door. It maintains that same styling with the accents, the soft to the touch surfaces around your arm, as well as up here on the very top. You have a large pocket back here as well. Metallic sill plate in the threshold and there's your back seat and your back seat is pretty much a bench seat uh, it does have some slight ball strings on the ends but basically it's one solid piece all the way across there's your floorboard and even with the front seats all the way back you have a tremendous amount of leg room in this vehicle you do have a significant hump there in the center uh, it's flat on the top which helps a little bit but uh, that you know kind of hinders the center passenger a little bit if they're long-legged and then you have a place to put some little storage pocket right there cup holders with your armrest it has the latch system for car seats 
and this is a 60 40 split fold down seat so you can add to your trunk space if you need to your fuel door is on the passenger side so you can talk your passenger into pumping the gas for you and it's lockable so right now it will not open all you have to do is unlock the vehicle and it will unlock that as well so every time you lock the vehicle it's going to lock it for you all right so it has the cap with little tether system right here but check it out it has a post to where you can put it right there and it keeps it out of the way while you're pumping gas taking a look at the back of the vehicle it has that chrome line around the back as well you also have some gloss black accents here at the very bottom you have a single exhaust on the left side and you have some more chrome you have the chrome emblem there back backup camera is right under here just almost in the very center position okay let's go ahead and use the key this time to open up the trunk just push and hold it and check it out it goes all the way up for you that's convenient okay so here is your trunk space cargo space and look how far it goes in there it's way in there you have plenty of room a little basically places here that are separated with dividers here on the side and you can take these dividers out if you want to It also has the cargo protection system in place right now. And you have this uh, Volkswagen cargo management system. Uh, basically these, these little dividers that have Velcro on the bottom and you can stand them up and kind of make a frame around your cargo here in the, in the back to keep it from sliding around on you if you need to use that. Okay, so let's take a look at the spare tire. It's underneath this floorboard. You have this handle here. And there's your spare tire and tools. And of course, you, uh, you might be able to use some of this space for cargo space, depending on uh, what you're storing back here. Now your seats fold down uh, using these levers right here. So you pull that lever and then you can walk around and fold the seat down on both sides. And once you fold the seats down, now you can fold them down one or the other or both, so that way you can have a combination of cargo and passenger space. Uh, but once you fold the seats down, you have a almost double the cargo capacity as far as length and almost height there. This vehicle also has a blind spot monitoring system here. And the blind spot monitor system basically has a little indicator in the side mirror and a sensor back here in the rear quarter panel so when the vehicle is in your blind spot whether it be like say right where your wind your side mirror is all the way back to a car length behind the vehicle it will illuminate that little indicator letting you know that somebody's in your blind spot also that the same sensor system is used when you're backing out of a perpendicular parking spot say like if you're parked like these vehicles here and you're backing out you may not be able to see around those vehicles so it will let you know if a car is coming from either direction let's take a quick peek at the window sticker and you can use the pause button to get some more information off of it check it out 34 on the highway 23 in the city with an average of 27 okay let's go ahead and start it up using the switchblade key Here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat, and you can see the uh, floor mats hook in place in two places. Keep it from keep it straight for you, because it's contoured around the pedals there. And check it out—you have those uh, alloy pedals, those aluminum pedals with the rubber raised grips. It also is hinged there at the very bottom, or it pivots at the very bottom to keep uh, you know things from sliding underneath it and becoming a safety issue. It also has a large footrest there on the left. 
So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. To open the hood, there's a latch right here in the very center. Just lift it up, looks like that. And it goes up pretty much by itself. It takes almost no effort. All right, so it does have a plastic cover. We can see the engine pretty good. Now this is a four cylinder, 1.8 liter four, four cylinder engine and it's turbocharged direct injection and the turbocharger has an intercooler which helps keep the air cool going into the vehicle and it also has 170 horsepower and is paired to a six speed automatic transmission now you have your intake here in the front and your turbo and your exhaust here in the back your four cylinders go this direction here so it's an inline four one, two, three, four. And the exhaust going out of the back keeps the heat from your cooling system here in the front and your intercooler and your radiator and your air conditioning system, all that good stuff. Now the firewall has insulation and a heat shield here. Insulated battery as well Okay, here's the inside of the driver's door. It's just like the other side except for it has a few more buttons Had your has your side mirror adjustments here your door lock controls your power windows and you have one touch one touch up and down You also have one touch down and up there in the back so all four windows or one touch up and down you have the ability to open up the trunk right there unless that's locked out you have a power adjustable seats here for the driver because they're special you also have adjustable lumbar support right here as well so you have a little pocket right here put your change and whatever you want in that and then you have a your headlight controls you have off automatic and then on interior dimmer switch control right there you also have a tilt and a telescoping steering column and then once you get it in place you just lock it in place with this lever okay let's go ahead and take a look here on the inside and plenty of legroom massive amount of legroom here uh, the door the way it's contoured it has allowed space for my knee here and then my knee can go over top of the uh, console a little bit here so it's not like it's uh, in you know, it's not like I'm limited on space. I can really uh, sprawl out. Okay, so let's, before we get started here on the inside, I just want to show you the, uh, some of the specs here, um, and also the engines and all the little details. Now you're going to have to use the pause button again, just like the window sticker, but I'm going to pan across it just in case you are interested in any of this stuff. I'm sure you are if you're interested in this vehicle. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and start here on the steering wheel. And it's a leather wrap steering wheel with the piano black, gloss black accents around there as well as around the emblem. It's looking pretty nice. Very comfortable steering wheel and it's kind of contoured. It's not completely round. It's kind of a little bit sharper on this side and round on the other side. So it has this really unique shape. A little bit flat here on the bottom. And you have some buttons here on the steering wheel. You also have powder shifters on the back. So you have your negative here on the left side and your plus on the right side. And this is how you can cycle through manually, change through the gears. If you accidentally hit one and you change the gear, all you have to do is press and hold the plus and it'll go back into drive. All right, so on this side, you have your volume for your radio. Your cruise control is right up here. On the right side, you can cycle through the presets on your radio down here. You can change through your menu system, which we'll get that to that in just a second for this screen. And also you have your voice recognition and your Bluetooth controls here. Windshield wiper controls are on the right side and the turn signal switch and dimmer switch for your headlights are on the left side. 
Okay, so your gauges are very simple, easy to read, easy to focus on when you're transitioning from the road to the gauges. With the black background and the white lettering, very crisp and easy to see in big numbers. RPMs there on the left with your engine coolant temperature. On the right side is your speedometer with your fuel gauge and this vehicle is going to the gas station as soon as I finish up. So right here in the center is a digital screen and it has the, the clock, digital clock. You have the miles on the vehicle and then you have the trip and then you have your outside temperature and the digital speedometer there in the center. But using these buttons here, I can get some more information. So scroll to the right, you can see what your audio is doing, your phone, uh, you can turn on and off your rear traffic, blind spot and front assist. <laughs> How many miles you can drive before you have to refuel, zero. And you can see all the, the different settings here. So it gives you an idea of what you can kind of go into if you want to, but you don't actually have to go into all that stuff if you don't want to. My default would probably be the digital speedometer. All right, okay, so you have this uh, analog clock, which is pretty cool, four-way flashers up here. And down here is your touch screen, and it has the little sensor here, so as you move your hand across the bottom, uh, it pulls up these menus, menus at the very bottom. So you have these physical buttons on the sides. You have a CD player, which is interesting. You also have an SD card input. Volume for your radio, tune through the stations. Okay, so right now we're in the radio screen. So you have your presets across the bottom. You can actually tune to the exact number you want. You can go to a channel list and see all that good stuff. Change your band like sat satellite radio or AM, FM. You can go to media. So your media screen right now is not showing anything because there's nothing to play. But you can play music through your Bluetooth audio, through your like your phone or something, the SD card input, and auxiliary input. You can go into your phone once you pair your phone. Right now there's no none paired. You have access to your phone book and you can call people using the voice recognition or you can choose them here on the screen. There's your voice recognition button here as well. Here's your eject for your CD player. You can mute the sound system. You can adjust the sound with that button. And you have a whole menu system which has different uh, options here. Your radio, media, telephone, images, setup, sound. And then you have App Connect. This is where you can uh, plug in your phone and use Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or mirror link. All right, so that's kind of a quick rundown of the touchscreen. Down here is your climate control. You have your temperature for your driver and then your passenger. You have your heated seat controls, your fan speed where you want the air to blow. You can sync the driver and passenger temperatures if you want. There's a nice big pocket with a 12 volt power supply right there. You also have your auxiliary input and USB ports right there as well. That's where you would plug in your phone if you wanted, say, to charge it, or you can plug in a uh, plug it in for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can also plug in a USB stick uh, with MP3 files on it to play through the sound system. Okay, so here's your shifter, and it has this rubber boot there uh, to kind of make it sportier looking. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. And when we put it in reverse, the backup camera pops up here. You can see the guidelines there and the red lines. So you don't want to go past the red line or close to something. And you notice it's a, uh, a wide angle view, so it's a little distorted on the end. So that's the lines kind of help out with that. Now you can see from the bumper to the sky and all around, so it really gives you a good view. Continuing down, there's neutral. There's drive. This is your normal drive position. Then you have sport mode right there so that way it'll emphasis the emphasis will be on performance over fuel economy now you also have a manually adjusted or ma manually shifted uh, gears by pushing it over here to the right while you're in drive and you can shift to the gears just like your paddle shifter except for this way it's like a ratchet shifter you can always go back in a drive by sliding it over to the drive position at any time you have your handbrake parking brake there's your cup holders, has a little spring loader loaded things here to adjust for different size cups and it's open in here in the center to allow for other things besides cups like your cell phone or whatever. 
little storage pocket right in here. Okay, so here's your armrest, and it's pretty soft and comfortable, and it's kind of, I think it's wide enough to share with your passenger, maybe, it depends on how generous you are. And it lifts up, and you have this little storage pocket right in here, and you also have a 12, another 12 volt power supply. There's a little clip under here to, uh, to clip some stuff say your registration or something like that that's probably what I would use manually adjusted day and night mode on your rear view mirror then you have these tap lights here and here your interior lights can be turned on with this button you can turn it off like that or you can put it in the center position and it will turn on the interior lights when you open up the door place to put your shades and it has like this rubber uh, feeling material on the inside to protect them Here's your visor, it has a mirror and a little light that turns on as you open this up. Same thing on the passenger side. Let's take a look at the visibility. Alright, let's get it framed up for you. Okay, so there's your headrests, they're not too bad, I mean they come up about halfway on the, on the window. You do have those side windows, little ones, and then you have the actual door windows, pretty good size. So the visibility is pretty good. Of course, you have the blind spot monitor system to help you out with that, and the cross path detection system. All right, so there you go. Thank you for watching. Thank you to East Coast Volkswagen for letting me show off an awesome vehicle, and I'll see you guys next time.